thanks for tuning in. This is Optibotomous coming with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Netflix Transformers War for Cybertron Deluxe Class Hound. For the package, much like all of the new Netflix figures, it's a white package with the Transformers text and the Generation logo right up there. You got the Netflix logo, War for Cybertron, an open window that fully showcases them. The side here has a really grumpy or angry looking up close image of Hound. That's kind of weird to see. Uh, the other side here, you got that Siege image where the arc is taken off from Cybertron with all the characters and things of that nature done in a white, red, and black uh, paint scheme. Uh, the back of the package has an image of him in his robot as well as his vehicle mode. And of course that he transforms in 14 steps. But for the packaging on this guy, at least on the outside, that's about it. We do know there's some extra packaging things on the inside, at least with these deluxe figures. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. <laughs> Right in. Here we have Hound open up out of his packaging and obviously in his vehicle mode. And of course, for the inserts, you do have that up close image of him very grumpy. I don't know why he's so grumpy, but he's pretty grumpy. You got that nice Autobot logo there, which looks like it's uh, done with spray paint, which looks really cool. But of course, we have this. And this is the most important piece because now we can take this uh, if you saw my chromia review uh, there was a section that was missing you can see these are the other two this is chromia's there was a bit here that was missing and it is in fact hounds so connecting these you bring that in just like that and bring in chromia's and there is that so uh again i i kind of feel like well that's gonna fall fall off uh, i kind of feel like this is meant to be the ground so uh, hopefully that's you know that's what that's meant to be i mean that that would be kind of cool regardless but um really like that you can see you got optimus there in the middle of teletran kind of look over here that almost looks like scorp yeah that's scorponok right there so that's cool we all know that uh, we are getting scorponok so really happy with these uh, it is probably in my opinion <laughs> the best aspect about these now don't get me wrong the figures are great uh, the the paint schemes are absolutely amazing on them one thing that i will say though is that because we've gotten these figures fairly recently they're almost i don't want to say unnecessary but they are just repaints uh, of the uh, figures that we've gotten in a fairly short period of time. And that's the case here with Hound. He looks nice, um, but doing the comparison, this is definitely one. All the other ones look really good. Uh, this is one, you know, and I've always said, you know, that you can get it. This is definitely one that I would say you could probably pass on because I think that the original one is a better look for him. The coloring does still look really nice. You got that wear on there. There's not as much. I mean, you get a little bit more of it in robot mode. In vehicle mode here, there's not as much of that blending that we saw with the paint as, as we got with all the previous ones. And in fact, it seems like we get less paint detail on this. As you can see with his weapon, the um, hollow cannon thing is just done in this grayish plastic, whereas this one is green, but it's got the silver and you got the little gold bit right there. Same thing with his rifle. You got some nice added silver detail to the original one. Uh, I do like this silver on the hubcaps a little bit more than the original. Um, I mean, it's, I mean the, the fade is there. It's just not as prevalent uh, i do like the autobot logo a little bit more on the new version of, of the uh, little bit here uh, i don't know if that is a little tire thing uh, that also has silver on the original one the new one does not that's unfortunate uh, and then when you look at the front here you got some uh, paint detail with the darker gray color uh, in, in the bumper section but then you can see that it also is lacking some paint here with like the other headlights uh, so it is unfortunate um, and, and then you got like paint detail here on the back. You, you don't really have that there. So, uh, it's still a good figure. The mold is still fantastic. Uh, but I feel like it's, it's a definite downgrade from the original. I do like the, a little bit lighter green color on them. I do like the more yellowish gold here as opposed to the more copper color. Um... I guess a little bit better blending here with the uh, the front section and then you got this little gray bit right there in the middle that looks pretty good uh that's lacking on there you can see that the window is different it's a more smoky color as opposed to the uh, more clear one here i don't know like i said i, j I just 
feel like it's a regression uh, uh, of sorts and that's definitely unfortunate if you missed out or if you have a hard time finding that other one and this one is a little bit easier to find either way get the mold i mean, I mean it, it's great regardless i just really can't see this one as a replacement for this now mirage yes sideswipe yes megatron yes obviously hot link because that's a new character yes chromia if you like that character would be yes the paint detail i mean all of them I, could easily replace the previous versions how though i don't really think that it's just lacking too much in my opinion now transformation obviously is the exact same none of that changes so again using that good old-fashioned optobotomous movie magic we're gonna go from how i'm looking like this to looking like this and here you at least see a little bit more of that uh, kind of blending of the paint uh, specifically like here with the arms uh, the fade looks really nice in terms of the green but it doesn't really blend into the rest of the body all that much you do get a little bit more of it down here in the legs so you really couldn't see that like i said in the vehicle mode but you get a little bit more of it here in his robot form and again the the mold is still terrific it's still a wonderful representation of hound uh, he does have a little bit more of that dirty look which does look really sharp like i said i do like that more muted down green. you know you can also see some of the uh, the fade up here with the arms but uh for the comparison just get that right done and out the way here is the original one and again uh, it's it to me there's not that much of an improvement to warrant replacing this with this obviously the extra detail like with the grill section kind of comes out with the extra headlight paint detail and such uh, you get a little bit more of the like there's a little yellow bit right here which you really couldn't even see there's a little yellow there uh, he doesn't have that the red for the uh, the taillights is there so a little bit more added color like i said really does help to make this guy pop i do like the the silver on here again it helps to make it stand out uh, the shoulders still suck uh, they don't really lock in all that well you can push them in there and they just kind of friction there but uh i mean the green color i do like a little bit more but again i, I just don't see that much uh of an improvement it's it just for me it's it's just not there really i mean it's definitely one of those things where if you couldn't find the other one this is a perfectly acceptable figure to have just i keep saying it over and over again and i apologize for sounding like a broken record just not it's not good enough to replace um, that uh, previous version. For his articulation, it is the exact same. Uh, you do have a swivel. I don't think it's a ball joint. Maybe it's a little bit of a ball joint, but you really wanna make sure that you push this piece all the way back to uh, be able to articulate the head. Shoulders here are on swivels. You can rotate that around, hinges in and out. Uh, you kind of have a butterfly joint if you just detach that. Uh, goes, I already showed that. <laughs> it does rotate at the upper part of the bicep bends at the elbow he does rotate at the wrist which is nice you do have that waist rotation hips are forward and back and in and out compatible uh, he does have the thigh joint it's uh, kind of hidden which is really cool but it's a uh, lower down so you can uh, rotate it up there and then not really break anything up that looks really nice you do have a bend uh, you do have ankle tilt with it not really forward and back or anything but you can spread that guy and go pachow hound is a very flexible kind of guy um for me i mean it, uh, it, it i'm just sounding like a broken record it, it's just not worth uh getting it the the only part in terms of the paint that i really think is better on them would more than likely be the, the green i do like that more muted color and i really like the silver for the hubcaps you could probably pop those off oh yeah you could totally pop those off and put them on here i mean just uh kind of i mean they're just little mushroom pegs so and you know i mean how's that look that looks pretty good i'm uh, happy with that but um uh i mean if you want to do some part swapping you could definitely do that um and all all the tires do that yeah all the tires so if you really wanted to you could do something like that i, I just like i said it's it's a bit of a disappointment but not everything is going to be a home run uh i'm aware of that it, it's it's a normal thing with transformers uh, i do think that the green color does stand out very nicely it, it just ultimately like i said lacks 
uh, that wow factor that a lot of the other figures had. Sideswipe had it. Mirage had it. Megatron had it. I mean, hell, even Chromia, a figure that I didn't like, had it. So while uh, using Chromia as an example, if you wanted to upgrade because you like that character, that Netflix one was definitely an upgrade. This one is not. So personally, I can't recommend this figure, but if he is one that you would like to add to your collection, maybe you're a huge Hound fan. Here in North America, these Netflix figures are exclusively available at Walmart, and they are hitting right now. So if you're looking for them, Good luck and happy hunting. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So as always, once again, if you really like this video, if you found it helpful in any way, do me a real quick favor and hit that thumbs up button. That one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons, who through their continued support helped to make reviews like this possible. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.